why even Western medicine doctors says asthma attack usually occurs around three or four o'clock in the morning, which exactly fall into traditional Chinese medicine's long hours? Or have you ever wondered why this is the fall seasons, and then you may experience dry skin more often? Or your family may have dry cough lately, and why our ancient wisdoms work so well during the traditional Chinese medicine diagnosis and a treatment? I'd often heard from Western medicine doctors or patients who have benefited from acupuncture treatment, and calling us either as miracle doctors, magicians, or sometimes being called as voodoo medicines, because we often based on our diagnosis from the terms such as qi, xue, yin, yang, five elements such as wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And so forth, which sounds totally irrelevant to medicines. For example, we often call irritable bowel syndrome as wood attacking earth. Or have you ever wondered why this is the fall seasons, and then you may experience dry skin more often? Or your family may have dry cough lately? Or why even Western medicine doctors says asthma attack usually occurs around three or four o'clock in the morning? Which exactly fall into traditional Chinese medicine's long hours? Where are these terms coming from? And why our ancient wisdoms work so well during the traditional Chinese medicine diagnosis and a treatment? And the thanks to our ancestors, with close to 5,000 years of history, by observing changes in the universe, such as sun and moon relationships, and later on the changes of the various processes. Functions and the phenomena of nature. We developed the logics of yin yang and the five element theory, and our body to twelve major organs or meridians. Traditional Chinese medicine is not just to treat the diseases that already occurred, but the beauty is more of a preventive medicine by understanding the relationship between our bodies yin yang. Five elements and then twelve meridians, like what to do, what not to do at a certain time of the day or a certain season. We can definitely keep ourselves healthier in a way that utilizes less of our very occupied modern health system today. On October 16, please come join myself and other great practitioners. And in terms of Five Branches University, we will show you a better picture of what traditional Chinese medicine really is, and guide you to a healthier future. Thank you.